right. So there's uh, one more question from Unit 2 that we're going to talk about. And, or I'm going to ask you, and that is, what are you wearing? How would you answer that? What are you wearing right now? Really get into the details. Are you wearing a hat? What about a sweater? How about a jacket? It's a little bit chilly today. It's actually going to be a, a nice day today. Um, are you dressed in a suit? Probably not. What about what's going on down here? What are, what are on your feet? Uh, are you wearing any uh, accessories? So how would you do that? How would you do it in a, in, in a single sentence? How would you break it up into two or three sentences? So I'm wearing this. I'm also wearing this. So that's a way in which you can make two sentences out of it because maybe you're wearing a lot of stuff and that's a long sentence that you have to make. I think the book does a pretty good job of, of explaining how to go about stringing or connecting these adjectives together to describe what you are wearing, what he is wearing, what she is wearing, what they are wearing. Okay, now we're moving on to Unit 6. So, we're going to be looking at questions that are part of Unit 6. So get over to Unit 6 there. If you want, or you don't have to have your book available, you can just follow along and try your best. Uh, think about the answer, write down the answer, speak the answer out loud, okay? Um, so what do you want to do for a living? I think what I'll do here is I'll give you a little cue, all right? So what do you want to do for a living? For a living, you need to understand what that means. What, what, what are we talking about here? For a living, what is that? Is it job? Is it career? Actually, yes. Okay, it's something that you do that creates income for you and your family so that you can eat, so that you can pay the bills, so you can have, so that you can have a, um, a roof over your head, that sort of thing. So what do you want to do for a living? So I want, mm -hmm. okay, the information is, is there in the book. Do your, do your own research. Okay, so now let's imagine, let's look at number two. Let's imagine that you're, you're hungry and you're out with some friends. And uh, you go into a restaurant and your friend is very nice. He's, he's kind of rich and he likes to treat his friends. So he's going to pick up the bill. He's going to pay the bill. Uh, and he turns to you and says, uh, or asks, what do you want to eat? Of course, he'd probably be saying that in Korean, but what if this was an English-speaking friend? What do you want to eat? So there are different, a lot of different ways you can answer this. What's the most direct way? So I want, okay, but there are other ways. Number three, what do you want to do in five years? Now there's, again, there are different ways that you can answer this question. For example, uh, I want to be a landlord of an apartment building. That's what I want to be. So you don't have to say I want to do, I want to do a landlord. No, you can also say I want to be from that question. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, I want to be, um, I, I want to, um, become a doctor in five years. Be, become, um, do, I want to do a sabbatical. Now a sabbatical would be a, a break from teaching. Sabbatical. S-E-B-A-T-I-C-A-L. All right. So do, be, become, go. It, it, it's wide open, this answer, really. Okay, let's look at now, uh, now at uh, number four. What is something you would like to do this weekend? So the weekend is coming up in about four days. Uh, I know you have a lot of time on your hands. Maybe you do. Uh, but 
what would you like to do? So in this case, how are you going to answer the question? So how about, I would like to blah, blah, blah. So I'd like to. Mm -mm. So those are two simple ways to begin your answer here. So I'd like to ride my bicycle this weekend. I would like to, I'd like to. So I just gave you the answer, uh, an answer. So sometimes I'm, I'm gonna do that. But I want you to do some of this on your own too. Okay. All right, this is unit six, uh, continued. Um, it's the dream question. What is your dream? How do you start that one? Many ways. How, how about I want? How about I hope? Yes, both. How about I would like? How about this? My dream is to something, you know, become a millionaire and so on. My dream is to, let's imagine that there's a world here. My dream is to travel around the world, <laughs> okay? So, many ways. All right, so it says here, uh, now, for help on this one, you can look at page 55. In your book, First Hand Success, and fill in the words and make appropriate responses. So you, you, you don't necessarily have to have your book there. So I'm blank to go to Africa. What word fits in those five spaces? Up here. <laughs> Okay, what word belongs there? What word should go there? Is there another word that, could, that can go there? Are there two words that can go there? I don't know. I don't, I don't see it. But the, what's the most likely word? Okay, just fill in that blank. And then when you, after you've filled in the blanks here with the missing word in the question or the, in the response, um, I want you to give additional information. Now that's where the book can really help you. You can say, ah, this is how I can say one thing and then I can follow up with another thing. All right? Um, for example, I'm going to go to the Himalayas. You know the Himalayas? That's, uh, if you don't know, maybe I'm pronouncing it strangely, but the Himalayas are a mountain range where the highest mountain in the world can be seen. And what is the highest mountain in the world? Everest. That was also in the, uh, the game show that we played. So I'm going to go to the Himalayas. I've always wanted to see Mount Everest. So there's the follow-up. So I'm going to go to Africa. I've always wanted to see Mount Everest. Of course, in order to see Mount Everest, the clouds have to be clear of the mountain. Then you can see it. That's one possible second or a response to what, what you say. Number seven, blink, so I, blank, blank, see lions and giraffes. So um, now this, this connects to the first, um, <laughs> the first response or the first statement and then response. So I'm going to go to Africa. I just gave an answer, of course. I, blank, blank, sea lions and giraffes. What 
could you say after saying this? So fill in the blank. What can you say here? I've always wanted something like that. And then now this one here, number eight, is kind of unrelated to Africa. But you can go surfing in Africa. Uh, actually, so it could work. Uh, but Africa is such a huge place. And, and here you're doing... Um, you're doing a safari and there are no there are no waves and surfboards and surfing in the safari. You have to go to the coastline. But so I'm what word goes here to try surfing. And then once again, what else can you say here? Oh, by the way, um, at any time this video could stop because I for some reason I have some limited um, space, limited storage space on my phone, and I'm try I've tried to clear it up, but it's okay. By the time, when it shuts off, we should be just about finished with this review. So it might just, like that. I don't want it to, do, to, to happen that way, but that's really what we're dealing with right now. Okay, next. Answer with complete sentences. Uh, when were you happiest? Now, think about a time. Maybe you're really happy now. You, or you might just say, well, I'm always happy. Um, so, but when were you happiest? Chances are there was a time in your life when you were very happy. Uh, when was that? How do you answer that question? Number two. When was the test easy for you? So when did you take a test that was easy? Think about a time when you took a test and you did very well, it was easy. Say when, you might even say where it was, something like this. Okay, it's up to you. And then there's number three. Uh, oh, by the way, we're, we're on to unit seven here, <laughs> just to let you know. Uh, what do you blank about traveling? Now, um, maybe you don't like to travel. I think most people do. But what word belongs here? There are actually two words that I can think of right now that could go into this space. So fill in the space. Of course, you can look at your book and that can help you. Um, and then answer the question. Try to do it in, a sen in, in one sentence, if you can. You don't have to, but try to do it in one. You can do another sentence for providing more information to the person who asked you the question. So, Jisoo, what do you mm, about traveling? What word goes there? All right, unit seven continued. The, now, these happen to be from page 63, okay? So you can check a previously uploaded lesson for help. So if you don't have your book, you can go to, like, lesson number two, uh, lesson number three, lesson number one, and you can see where these pages are, all right? So this is a more recent page. So it's probably unit seven. So, and so it's the, uh, it's lesson number th three, I think. I'm pretty sure about that. And so you can go to the lesson, look at the page 63, and then you can get some help if you need it. But I'd like you to try to do this without the help of your book. So, A, I'll talk about a time I, what goes here? Just sort of read along and see if you can just Fill in the, the, the missing letters of these words. So, A, I'll talk about a time when I afraid. Okay. B says, A, I got in a forest near my home. What do you think that word is there? B, how old you? About... <laughs> I don't know if a word fits there. <laughs> okay, so it was, it's supposed to be, um, it's supposed to be this number. Okay? So the, num the, the, the spaces aren't right. So 
about seven. S E V E N. Let's try uh, twelve. Does that work? T W E L V E. Oops, that doesn't work. E. Uh, Thirteen. That's probably too many. Uh, oops. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ah, ah. 